Well, this is just an opportunist hunt. My van's in at the garage, so I've just pedaled 40 minutes uphill on my bike. I've got the big speed strapped in across the top of here. I've got my rucksack, Dios on one side, spare coil on the other side, earphones, finds pouch, pointer and all that in the bag. So I've got everything I need. And today I'm going to concentrate on a very small area. It's absolutely laden with trash, hence the small coil. So I'm going to give it a go with the 11 inch coil. If it's too trashy, I'm going to switch back to the nine because where there's trash, there's treasure. Okay, so I've had a bit of modern trash. There's two pence, 20 pence, pound coin, pound coin, pound coin, and a penny. So that's three quid for about five minutes work. That's not bad. But I've also had that. I thought that was just a penny, but when I pulled it out to do the roundup, I noticed it's got um, it's got like a bit of a shield on here. So I think that's possibly a George the Third farthing. I'm not sure though. It may clean up, it may not, but all this stuff will go in the tumbler, and we'll find out at a later date. This is the first one where I've thought it possibly isn't modern muck because it looks like a coin ball. I think it was reading 88. <laughs> it is modern muck. It's just another two pence. Ah. This one's reading 82, so I think it's another pound coin. Yep, there we go. Another pound coin, that makes four. So I'm doing pretty well here for the modern coinage, but I don't really want to bore you with finding loads of modern coins. So I'm not going to film many of these, I'll just do the odd roundup, because there's obviously quite a lot of them around here. I really want the older coins and the older relics. Hey up, I've actually got something that's not a modern coin or trash. Well, it's not absolute trash. It's like a little pendant or medallion of some sort. It'll no doubt be some religious thing. It isn't gold, unfortunately, although it's gold coloured. It does have a bit of weight to it, but um, yeah, it's not gold. It's just rubbish. Yep, absolute rubbish. Not sure how well this is going to show up on film, but from here, around there, that to me looks darker. It is darker. I don't know whether it'll come out on film, but that is the area that I've done, and I quite like detecting when there's a lot of dew on the grass because as you swing the coil backwards and forwards it kind of rubs out the dew it allows you to see exactly where you've been there you go so this bit the right hand side of where I'm pointing all of that I've done that quite quite well by the looks of it and now there's this bit to do This is reading quite a strong 78, so it's going to get dug. Big bottle top. Damn it, there's an absolute nation of modern pennies and pound coins. Oh, but there's something else in here. Hopefully another one. Coin ball. I think it'll be modern. Yeah, it is modern. Another pound coin. I was just saying there was a lot of pennies in pound coins. At least that's spendable. This one was reading mid 60s and it looks about the size of an old shilling. Um, doesn't appear to have much detail on it though. I'm kind of thinking it's an Elizabeth II shilling. Yes, there's a crown there. That's why there's not much detail, because it's different from an English one. It's got the three legs on the back, that means it's from the Isle of Man. And it's not a shilling at all. It's a ten pence. An Isle of Man, ten pence. It's got the ten there and the three legs. Never, never seen or certainly never found one of those before. So that's a nice interesting find. Well, this is a quick roundup of the stuff that I found since the last roundup. 
That's probably about an hour ago and it's all modern trash. There you go. It adds up to quite a bit I suppose. There's one, two, three, four, five. There's five pound there. All of these, one pences, two pences and that rather strange Isle of Man, ten pence. There was only another three pound coins, so that's eight pounds that I found. It still isn't bad for just over an hour. And looking at this other stuff that I've got, there's a, actually there's a 20 pence and there's another couple of two pences. Um, I noticed there is a coin from my last hunt. So sadly, I think this little farthing from George III is from my last hunt. That makes it even worse for this one because it's all modern trash. So there's no pre-decimal at all so far from this hunt. And that's not very good because as you know I like to find a little bit of old stuff. Now although the site was badly infested with trash, I haven't really dug much trash for all of those coins. I've obviously been digging the low signals as well because there's the ring pulls. But that's a pretty good return. There's more coins than trash. So I apologise for making the mistake on that little farthing, that pre-decimal farthing. That means, so far, this hunt, I haven't found any pre-decimal coins at all. So I'm going to strap the spade back onto the bike, I'm going to pedal up to another site, and I'm going to give it a go, because at that other site, I know I will find pre-decimal coins. Or at least I hope I will find pre-decimal coins. Well that signal was a wee bit bouncy, and I actually thought it was deep silver but it looks like it's deep lead. Uh, I think that's too small to be a spindle whirl. It's not thick enough to be a spindle whirl, I don't think. That's certainly an unusual find for up here. I normally just find things back to Victorian times. It may well be Victorian, but I don't know. Possibly older. Oh my! Right, this one was reading a good healthy 92, extremely loud, not very deep, I came from there so it's maybe 5 to 6 inches deep maximum. Ah, and it looks like it's a first pre-decimal. Nice imprint there. Uh, haha, yes, one penny. 1967. So that's the first pre-decimal coin. <laughs> that's a keeper. This is where I've just had the penny from just in here. Got another signal here. It was a bit more bouncy but it was reading kind of mid 80s so I'm presuming or at least I'm hoping this one's pre-decimal as well. It's another coin ball. I just hope it isn't a modern half pence because it gave that sort of signal. Oh, It is modern half pence. Oh. Now this one gave a hell of a response. I think it was reading early 90s and it was about Five or six inches down. Oh, modern two pence. This one was reading a lovely 88, very loud indeed. Uh, I just hope it isn't a modern penny, because that's what I think it is. Oh man, it is a modern penny. Well, I would be lying if I said that was a fantastic hunt. But we've all been there. When there's a slight window of opportunity, we take it. Even if it means going out on the bike and getting absolutely knackered and wet. Wasn't too bad. I think I spent about three hours up there maybe. Second half was considerably quieter than the first half because in the first half I was somewhere that hadn't been done before. Well, I'd certainly never done it before. And although there is one or two people do have permission on that same site, it's so trashy I don't think they even bother with it. But it did net me about... Oh, £8.50 in spendable money and one pre-decimal coin from the other site. <laughs> so it wasn't fantastic. So it wasn't a great hunt but it was a very enjoyable one and it helped to keep me fit. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Hi guys, my name's Mark. Um, I just thought I'd do a quick video to tell you a bit about the metal detecting club that I'm in. It's called Four Quarters Metal Detecting Club and we're based in the West Midlands. 
Um, we have regular rallies, uh, in which you know 100 people can turn up because there's 100 full members. Uh, but we usually get about 80, come 40 on smaller rallies, you know, something like that. Uh, and yeah, I mean, if you want to join a club, it's the, it's the easiest way to get your own well to get permissions really you know because if you're like me and you struggled with getting your own permissions what I did was I joined a club uh, that club is now folded but I've got another club now that's uh, fairly new it was formed in I think June or July um, and yeah we've got 100 members already and it's getting really popular we've had probably about six or seven rallies now and there's more rallies coming in all the time uh, members can find their own rallies for the club if they wish to and um, you know we pay the farmer set fee um, I think it's eight pound a dig so you know it's a cheap and cheerful way to uh, enjoy your hobby really um, and yeah I've found more things than ever being on a rally uh, than I have on my own to be honest because I really did struggle with permissions so as I said before you know going on a rally you've got a different farm virtually every other week in the season so you're never stuck for permissions because you've got the rallies um, yeah I mean like joining a club probably was the best thing I've done because I was fairly new to the hobby 18 months ago uh, bought my first detector, my Ace 250. Uh, since being in the club, you know, I've had a word with some of the other guys and girls. You know, it's open to all of them. Um, and, you know, I've ended up buying a new coil, the Nell Tornado for it. And, you know, that's improved my finds drastically because you just get that extra depth, you know. Uh, so, yeah, if you're stuck with anything detecting related and you're not sure who to ask, join the club. There's people there with knowledge, you know, unlimited knowledge about the subject uh, and it will help you become a better detectorist it will probably help you enjoy the hobby more um, and yeah so if you want to check out the club it's called Four Quarters Metal Detecting Club we're on Facebook and we're also we also have our own forum uh, our own website as well I'll put the links in the description below um, so yeah I hope you find things useful that you can see in the club um, and if you're in the local area I mean feel free, feel free to uh, get in contact with us as well you know because um, there's spaces that will be available in the new year um, and yeah I hope to see you soon cheers thank you Oh. Hello? Oh. Where was I? Hold on. Those musket balls were off last hunt. Oh.